Welcome to Same Cast Different Day Podcast. I'm your host, Martell Rowland. Thank you all for clicking and listening to this episode. And please make sure you subscribe to this podcast via Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, you can find us on Amazon Prime now. We're, we're everywhere. So, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, I didn't know if you are familiar with uh, the movie Babs or E. Um, Natalie Duzel, I believe how you pronounce her last name, had passed away from colon cancer. Her character in Babs is the most, <laughs> one of the most memorable things, I think, in black culture especially when she says give me your plate it's like one of those scenes where i don't know that movie is just it's just so popular with the black community and when i found out she had passed away i'm like this gotta be a joke it had to be a joke and you know you don't believe certain sources that people post on facebook so when i finally got a chance to go and research and look i said oh my god it's true like i just couldn't believe it and she was so young uh, the newer generation might remember her from uh, the Medea movie, uh, Medea's Big Happy Family, I believe. Anyways, <sighs> still sad to hear that. Rest in peace, Natalie Dizel. And switching gears, just a tad bit. So I've been away for, what, two weeks now? And uh, one of those reasons, um, I will post a photo of the urn, but um, one of those reasons was I had lost my my cat Frizz. Um, I didn't know that losing a pet. This was my first time actually having to go through this and experience this. Um, I had him for eleven years, and it's one of those things where. Okay, my computer is being wonky. <laughs> it was one of those things where I didn't know that it would actually hurt. As bad as it did, I didn't know, think that I'll be like so upset and unhappy and kind of depressed after he had passed away. But I was just, it was just, it just hit me kind of hard. So you know, it was that going on, and it just had to take a little break for a while. But I'm back. I'm checking in on everybody. Um, quarantine is still driving a lot of people crazy. I see. So yeah, like I'm saying, quarantine has been driving everybody a little bit crazy still well, i shouldn't say quarantine a lot of people are now on lockdown but one thing I, i'm just trying to get used because i got a new microphone stand like set up here and i'm trying to get used to it and i keep hitting it so one of the things that i'm trying to i'm trying to i want to talk about was i don't know if anybody noticed but during this quarantine it has been a lot of um I want to say small businesses or restaurants or popular businesses or restaurants where they're not really a chain. It's just that, you know, they have that one location. But anyway, I just find it a coinky dink that. Make sure y'all can I just find it a coinky dink that a lot of these places are mysteriously just catching fire overnight. And um, I, I know it's hard out here for. A lot of businesses, uh, especially small businesses who are not like large change or what us uh, to change large chains and uh, they're just doing their best to try to survive. And, you know, a lot of people are, you know, I guess not people are key trying to blame Democrats for shut down everything. And I still feel they feel that another shutdown is necessary, but I still feel like in my personal opinion if people would just do what you know the scientists and experts want us to do we would not be in a situation that we are now but people would just wear their masks like they're supposed to as much as i hate wearing my mask i wear it and you just gotta do it we gotta do it to keep each other safe we gotta do it to make sure you know everything is we can get back to normal and i feel like the more we continue to fight this the longer it's going to take to get back to normal so please stop trying to fight it let's just do what we have to do to get back to normal i know that it's going to take some time we all know it's going to take some time it's been nearly a year since we first heard of this whole coronavirus thing 
and believe me, we almost at the end. We're halfway through. You know, when it comes down to getting the vaccine, get the vaccine, people. When you if you see, actually, they said they're supposed to be doing a televised thing of um, I think it's supposed to be President uh Bush, President Clinton, and President Obama who are supposed to get a t- be getting the vaccine. They're supposed to be televised televising them getting the vaccine so i kind of hope that happens um i want it to happen for people can see uh that you know that it, it is safe um one of the other things is that two of those are two of those former presidents are democratic and then one of those former presidents are republican so hopefully on both sides we see that you know by both parties seeing uh getting the vaccine and showing that it is safe so you know, I'm not going to fight it just to say I work in healthcare, so you kind of don't have a choice when it comes to that kind of, when it comes to cu- that kind of stuff, so you kind of don't have a choice, so you just have to roll with the punches and just get the vaccine, because it's either get the vaccine or become ho- unemployed and become homeless and all that other crap, so you're just going to get the vaccine. Um, So what has been going on? Oh, Tina, Tina Marie finally had the baby thank god so now i got somebody to drink with finally well i don't know you know the whole pumping thing you know how that was going on and stuff but um uh what was that oh yeah so yeah tina marie had the baby the baby is doing very well right now we talked about um she talked about what i said she talked about coming back to the podcast so i'm excited i can't wait for her to make her return back to the podcast it's going to be so much fun having her back here on the podcast with me. Um, so yeah, like the baby is doing fine. Um, Christmas is almost coming up, and I'm excited for Christmas. I don't know if anybody knows who, everybody who knows me personally knows that I I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. Um, it's crazy. One of the reasons somebody asked me one of the reasons why. I celebrate Christmas so hard because it seemed like, you know, okay, well, it was really around this time of year. So it's crazy because it's like my dad passed away like two weeks before Thanksgiving. And then my grandfather passed away, I believe, like a week before Christmas. So it's like it's, it gives, that, that right alone right there gives me more of a reason to to celebrate more and enjoy the holiday more. And I wish other people would see it that way, even during this whole pandemic. Like, I had my Christmas display outside set up the week before Halloween. That's how big Christmas to me. To me, Christmas skips (laughs) Halloween, and I just go straight into Christmas mode. So I had my Christmas display outside uh, set up since before Halloween. No, I did not turn it on until sometime like mid-November is when I started turning on the lights. But... I already had to display and I'm happy I did that because I was watching so many people put up their Christmas display and it was cold outside. You can see the light blowing on their hands and stuff. That's why I put my display up early because I don't want to be that person outside in the cold, uh, blowing their hands to try to keep their hands warm or whatever, trying to put the Christmas display. And, you know, by me having kind of a little bit of a lot of stuff and I don't really plan it out. I just start doing it. Um, it took me about three days to get everything up. So, yeah, I love, I love, I love Christmas. And, uh, I mean, how many people got their holiday shopping done? So, I've done so much holiday shopping that I forgot what I even bought people for Christmas. So, I have to go through all this stuff and figure out well, who's, what was for what person and then uh, wrap them. I don't want to do all this wrapping though, but... Don't have a choice. I guess I had to wrap all these gifts and all this stuff. Cause I was just gonna do do the other way and just go buy gift bags. And then my brother was like, "No, you can't buy gift bags. We can do a um a Christmas uh present wrapping party thing, and we can drink wine and wrap free gifts. We'll see how that go." But anywho, that yeah, like I said, we'll see how that go. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Um, like I said, it's the whole. Kathleen, Tina had her baby. Oh, Wendy Williams lost her mother, too. So, you know, prayers for Wendy Williams. I know that's pretty hard. Although, according to her, when she made the statement on her show, her mother had died uh, 
weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And it's just now coming out now that her mother passed away. And I'm like, oh, well, nobody really knew that she passed away. But, I mean, to keep that concealed, I just turned the mic up a little bit. Hopefully, y'all can hear me better. (laughs) Hopefully, I did a little bit better and not blowing your ears out. But, yeah, I'm like, wow. And I don't know if some of these uh, episodes were are pre-taped during the whole um, pandemic right now that she's been ep- airing. I don't know if she pre-taped some episodes before her. She's just talking about it. I don't know how that went. But if her mother passed away weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ago and she was doing these live shows, you no know, Fridays a week, I got to give it to her because she kept that with a straight face during the whole thing. Don't know how she did it, but she kept that with a straight face. Um, So, yeah. So, like I said, I've been, it's been, that's what's been going on with me. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready for New Year's. Um, So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just ready. I'm excited. I don't know how many of y'all out there are excited. And um, I have, so for some reason, I ended up with two copies with uh, Mariah's uh, memoir, the, uh, the Meaning of Mariah Carey. So I will be giving away my extra copy that I have. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that or what process I'm going to take to do that. I might do it during, during uh, via the podcast, Instagram page, Facebook or Twitter page. I might do it all three. I might do a post on there and do like some type of contest. And whoever wins, I would announce it right here on the podcast. So um, I think that's how I'm going to go about that route. So I want to say. Thank you all for listening to this episode of Same Cast Different Day Podcast. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can find the podcast on Twitter at SCDD Podcast along on Instagram with S- at SCDD Podcast. And don't forget to follow the podcast on Facebook, which is Same Cast Different Day Podcast. And I want to thank all the I think it was 2,000 plus subscribers. So I want to thank all of you who uh follow the podcast on facebook we can get those instagram and uh twitter numbers up that'd be wonderful but anyways thank you all for listening to this episode see you all next week